A reading from the Gospel according to Matthew. Chapter 11, verses 20 to 24. Jesus began to reproach the towns where most of its mighty deeds had been done, since they had not repented. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Tyre and Sidon, they would long ago have repented in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for Tyre and Sidon on the day of judgment than for you. And as for you, Capernaum, will you be exalted to heaven? You will go down to the netherworld. For if the mighty deeds done in your midst had been done in Sodom, it would have remained until this day. But I tell you, it will be more tolerable for the land of Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. Today can be a day for us to make an examination of conscience. With this refrain from Jesus, Woe to you! Woe to you! Because I have given you so much. I have given you myself. I have chosen you to be Christian and you prefer a life by halves, a superficial life, a little bit of Christianity and holy water, but nothing more. When this kind of Christian hypocrisy is lived, what we end up doing is casting Jesus from our hearts. We pretend to have him, but we have cast him out. We are Christians, we say. We are proud to be Christians, but we live like pagans. And this attitude is harmful to us because it reduces the gospel to a social or sociological fact rather than a personal relationship with Jesus. Jesus speaks to me. He speaks to you. He speaks to each one of us. Jesus' preaching is meant for each one of us. How is it that those pagans, as soon as they heard the preaching of Jesus, went with him, And I, who was born here in a Christian society, have become accustomed to it. And Christianity has become like a social habit, a garment that I put on and then lay aside. And Jesus weeps over each one of us when we live out our Christianity formally, not really.